Oh boy, so the package <laughs> came damaged and of course you can tell it has the fragile sticker on it so I'm kind of worried as you can tell from the thumbnail <laughs> Anyway guys, hey guys, Silent CL here Welcome back for another unboxing video um, As you can probably tell from the last unboxing video I did mention that there was probably going to be another package that's coming from Japan As you can tell from the Japanese text here um, This one will contain the pamphlet for the recent Valkyrie Live event um, so I'm hoping that at least the book and whatever that I've ordered inside here is not damaged because it's just the corner of the box. Um, but still, it is a bit worrying when sometimes packages, you know, come like this. <laughs> so let's open this up and let's take a look at what I got this time around. Um, it's a pretty small box. It's not that huge as you can probably tell. Um, so yeah, let's, let's do this quickly so that we don't have to spend too much time you know take, take, taking a look at what i got okay let's slice this up all right i'm gonna move the box out of the table and the camera screen because it's it's just um, at a very weird angle all right okay so first things first <laughs> you don't see this very often so i I actually managed to get the special box that holds the Blu-ray for the recent Takagi Sun Season 3. So the box is actually looking very very lovely. This is what this was actually a Amazon Japan campaign. So if you had actually ordered the um, box one and two of the Amazon Blu-ray uh, of Takagi Sun Season 3. Um, you will be given a special code that you can actually submit to attain this special box as you can tell um, that will hold both the blu-rays together so yes this is um, technically a free item but sadly to say for this campaign they had to send it to a Japanese address so of course I went with my third-party shipping address and of course I got the item sent there so it's nice that the box is not damaged that's why I was pretty worried <laughs> the carton uh, the parcel itself um, was damaged and yeah I was hoping that this wasn't bent in any way so I'm gonna put this in one corner and let's take out the next item so there were a few stuff here all right then of course there's this tiny package within the giant package itself so let's see what's inside this thing where is my pocket knife uh yeah let's open it up so usually the third party shippers um handlers they will have to open up the item to check what's inside so as you can tell they have like taped it up again after checking you know. so yeah okay let's see what's inside this one i can't remember what i ordered for this one all right so i don't really need all this info oh it's the sleeves that i ordered okay so yeah as you guys has uh, you guys have known um i recently have been getting into all the digimon card game stuff so yeah aside from macross and of course the anime stuff uh, digimon is the next thing um so i managed to order this this was actually a premium um p bandai exclusive item um that actually came with like a box and then of course that had um you know sleeves and uh, that case that kind of stuff but you know it's, it's it's something that i really wanted to get but it doesn't feel like a whole stack for a 50 card deck and four extra sleeves i don't know i'll check it out again but yeah sleeves from the pre bandai exclusive item set so there should be another sleeve here it should be it should be this one then <laughs> okay let's let's open this up very quickly all right it's cutting away the tape that they used pulling out once again there's more details of the items and of course we have another oh you can't even see the design <laughs> So this is another Digimon sleeve that I actually got as well. This was also a P Bandai exclusive sleeve. 
as you can tell, very, very lovely artwork. Um, so yeah, let's just seal it up. So it has all the main, um, main characters, Digimon, basically uh, all the like Tai Chi, Davis, and uh, Takato, you know, all the main character, main male characters from each of the series up to Cross Wars. So that's pretty ex exciting, but sadly to say, of course, you don't see Gamamon inside there, which is from Ghost Game, which is the recent Digimon series. Uh, I mean, they don't they don't feature like the video game characters as well. So this is just mainly the TV series. So pretty awesome sleeves as well. So definitely had to get it. All right, let me just toss this cardboard aside. <laughs> and of course, the last thing. Uh, well, not exactly the last thing, but there are a few stuff in here. And seems like everything's not damaged, so that's pretty awesome. So for my cross fans, definitely it's this thing, which is the pamphlet. Um, so yeah, let me open this up. So if you had ordered the pamphlet um, early, it would have provided you with a clear file as well. Um, so as you can tell, the clear file is here. And right, so the clear file uh, focuses on Valkyrie. I think it, yeah, so Valkyrie Reborn 2022. So this is actually the very first version of the clear file. So there were three variations in all. So this is the very first one. So I'm, I'm thinking that I should be able to attain all three variations since I ordered items from all three um, lines of goods. So this one of course features the main Valkyrie ladies. And at the back, we have the Yami, Yami Kure version. So yeah, they did release like an uh, acrylic, you know, um, stand display for both the Walkure and Yami Kure um, or in round three of goods, but usually acrylic <laughs> displays are extremely, extremely expensive, almost $200 to $300 just for one. <laughs> it's just insane. Uh, there, are, there are fans who actually purchase those acrylic stands and they, they look pretty awesome on its own. Um, so, but yeah, it's, it's just a bit too much for me. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna put this here because it makes a nice uh, display. <laughs> Maybe I should have Yami Kure here because Yami Kure you don't see very often compared to Wild Kure. Wild Kure is like everywhere since like the beginning of Delta. So <laughs> okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna put the sleeves at the corner here as well. So that's a very nice display, even though it's like the camera angle is a bit too tight right now, but that's fine. All right, so the next thing is mainly for Digimon as well. So for those who have actually played the card game, you probably know how rare and expensive these are right now. So I'm just going to show them on screen. So yes, these are the start decks. Um, so these are start decks 8 and start decks 7. So why these are really expensive right now is because, well, technically they do feature uh, Gallant Mon, which is also a very well popular Digimon, um, you know, from Tamers. Then of course we have the V Mon, and of course this is from the L Force, uh, L Force line. So we don't really see this um, version of Evolution in the TV series. This I'm not too sure where the L Force. Vmon comes from Vdramon, so um, yeah. And the main reason why this deck is so rare and expensive now is because they actually come with, uh, you know, um, a set of SR campaign cards, and the cards itself are actually what made this deck extremely rare and expensive now. Um, they come with the memory boost option cards. Uh, um, and each of the option cards can go for maybe like um, 5 to $15 <laughs> per copy. Uh, and yeah, and each of these start decks initially when they first launch will only, will only cost roughly about $20 or so. So, and, and that is in the pricing of Singapore dollars. So I'm just, I'm just mentioning that the currency I'm talking about now is Singapore dollars because that's where I'm from. And, uh, you know, the Japanese decks usually, I don't know whether they have the yen pricing here, but um, 
usually these will be about I guess 2000 what well, uh, maybe eight uh, 1800 to 2000 yen uh, roughly around there but because of the rarity of these decks and how uh, how little that Bandai has produced you know so they become very very expensive and if I were to tell you what they are costing me now it's just an insane amount of money uh, <laughs> so like surprisingly this one is less popular because of course Gallonmon is the more popular Digimon line um, Gallonmon's start deck each one costs now roughly about $60 each <laughs> so yeah considering the price of the start deck um, and the cards that are given inside you know the, the deck itself for Gallonmon to play uh, they do have some cards that are pretty expensive now because red is technically dominating the meta game at this point of time so yeah so it would have been a smarter choice to just buy the deck at this high cost rather than buy the individual cards that you know people want from this start deck um, which will end up costing more than what I would have spent on buying the actual fully sealed start deck itself so yeah even though it's ridiculously expensive like 60 bucks per start deck <laughs> and of course if you want to play a set of all the special option cards that are given inside you have to buy double of each and yes if you're wondering um that's exactly what i did <laughs> so yeah it's it's a lot of it's a lot of money but it's the only two start decks that are very very expensive right now so thank goodness that's it's that's just the case and, and i don't want to re-experience this entire situation here again so anything new that digimon tosses out i'm just gonna buy uh, off the shelf right as of you know when they're promoting it um starting the game late has ended up in this kind of situation so this is this is this is just a lesson to learn <laughs> for those who are playing the any kind of card game out there so yeah anyway they do have reprints of the option cards that were given inside this start deck but the reprints were p bandai exclusive so you're talking about like this the sleeve situations here i was lucky to get these two sleeve sleeve sets at a very cheap price i paid roughly about um I think about a thousand yen for each set so that was like ten dollars per sleeve sets which is really cheap considering that most of the sleeves in my country um they're roughly about fifteen dollars for digimon design sleeves so this is this is ridiculously cheap for limited edition sleeves <laughs> um so yeah so there's a lot of stuff to consider when it comes to playing card games um especially whichever country you're from um, the americans they are pretty um, lucky because these decks they are still pretty available um, compared to the japanese ones which is just ridiculously hard to find uh, so the american players uh, those who are using the, the english versions of the digimon card game they have it slightly easier uh, and considering that they are now getting the EX02 uh, expansion um, in English as well so EX02 was another expansion that you cannot find in the Japanese market because the cards within it are so good um, and yeah it's just barely reprinted nowadays so it's impossible to find a sealed box of EX02 so for those who are playing the English version of the Digimon card game I will highly recommend you to spam buying EX02 while you still can because that set is just releasing in America all right so let me just shift this up further um, don't want to block yummy Freya's face <laughs> um, so this is not an item within the parcel itself it's something that I just recently got so I just thought I might show you guys what I bought um, because it is kind of like an unboxing I suppose it's, it's just pulling an item out from the bag that the seller gave it with so <laughs> so yeah anyways um i'm gonna pull out some stuff here first because the seller did give some awesome stuff together yeah, it was free kind of 
um, but that's definitely something that I cannot show inside here because I just realized that the artwork is a bit obscene. <laughs> yes, if you're wondering what it is, I, I, I don't know. Um, I, I, I probably won't mention it. Yeah, anyways. So um, I bought something and of course it's Digimon related once again. Um, and of course the seller gave stickers. I think these are fan made, so definitely not official. Looking at the Renamon's design is definitely fan art. Uh, illustration of course we have a pink digivice so usually for the first generation dig, um, digimon tamers i mean um you know not digimon tamers the series but the dig digidestins digivices when they digivolve uh, they will change to the color accordingly to their crest design so i can't remember whose was pink uh was it hikari i don't know uh so we got the yeah. I think this is this fan art it looks pretty official though uh if it's fan art this is pretty impressive but <laughs> definitely shouldn't be official uh so the thing i got was actually this so it's the vital bracelet for the digimon ghost game as you can tell and it had came with a premium price so the main reason why i had to buy this was because um i do collect the digivices for each of the tv series that was releases uh, released um i'm still missing two digivices one from aprimon and one from um, cross wars so cross wars is extremely expensive so that one i'm not planning to get it anytime soon um <laughs> i'm i'm trying to get the japanese version of the cross wars digivice because that one is the superior one the japanese version of the cross wars digivice actually came with an inbuilt mp3 player um whereas uh, the asia release version of the cross wars digivice is just a horrible horrible watered down version uh, which has all the superior functionalities that the japanese one stripped out of it just to make it cheaper and the quality of the, the, the digivice itself is just horrible cheap plastic as well compared to the japanese version but anyways talking about this main reason why this was a premium price so the there was a, a version one of the vital bracelet that was released uh, which came with pulsemon um i probably will put an image up just to show you guys the version one uh, vital bracelet and um the vital bracelet when it was first launched it was ridiculously expensive um, in my country, one of the vital bracelets would probably cost about 110 to 120 Singapore dollars. Um, whereas this one, um, this one was half the price of the very first vital bracelet. So mainly because they are selling it at a premium price to promote Ghost Game. So this is the recent and the most latest Digimon series that you can find around uh, the interwebs or you know Japan TV. And yeah, as you can tell, it's official because it has that, that toy sticker there. And um, yeah, so Gamamon's DIM card comes with this thing. So it's it's really worth the money. So this is like 60 bucks. So yeah, I had to get it. And of course, without getting this, or with, with getting this I had to get this as well. So these are the DIM cards for Angoramon and Jellymon Sama. So, so if you guys have watched Digimon Ghost Game, you probably know um, these are the three main Digimon characters within Ghost Game's uh, TV series right now. Um, so I don't know whether there will be any more Digidestins appearing in the series yet. We are kind of in episode 25 at this point of time. So there's still quite a ways to go. Um, usually a Digimon series will have like 50 plus episodes, so a halfway mark and well, um, from where I'm watching up to, um, you know, I've not gone into the parts where each of the three main Digimons had their regular evolutions. Uh, I mean, I'm, I've watched them. Gamamon has like all the sub-champion forms. <laughs> and then, uh, the two of them are of course like the regular Digimons out there. They only have like one kind of evolution line. so. Yeah guys, so that's pretty much it for today. That's, that's, as you can tell, the merchandise is starting to shift towards Digimon quite a bit. Although, you know, I, I love me some of my Takagi-san. <laughs> this, this illustration is pretty nice. <laughs> very, very cute. So the coloured version.
so yeah exclusive box to hold the blu-rays that's pretty sweet um so yeah usually usually this kind of things will be packed together with the blu-rays but surprisingly nowadays they're doing it separately so pretty interesting um and yeah usually these these boxes that holds the blu-rays end up becoming quite a bit of a premium price if you didn't get it on hand the first time i remember there are a few blu-ray sets that i've ever bought in the past where the box especially maybe like the macross ones ended up being way more expensive than the blu-ray itself so guys that's it for today the unboxing of all the stuff um let me know in the comment section down below what um what you guys appreciate from all the stuff that i actually pulled out and wish that you guys had bought as well for yourself uh, do you guys own a, a set of the vital bracelet whether is it the the uh Dig digivice v version or rigid or did you purchase the very first version of the vital bracelet which is kind of an inferior model right now because apparently this one is way superior in terms of the programming as well uh, <laughs> so guys thank you guys so much for joining me on another unboxing video it's a pretty small package but somehow or rather the video ended up becoming a pretty long one as well uh if you enjoy all the stuff that i took out <laughs> Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below and I'll see you guys in the next video. If you're wondering why I'm so tired in this one, because I woke up pretty early to do a video for this one just so I can use the sleeves for my Digimon decks for a tournament later that I'm going to. <laughs> Anyways, bye!